I am Mohit Nakra and this is my tutorial for basic body pack. First we are going to start with the block measurements. 3 inches from the top to the center back point and then from the center back point to the shoulder blade level. Now we are going to transfer the same measurements on the blocked muslin. 3 inches again from the top which I have marked and then I am going to do the second marking which is the shoulder blade level marking. From there I am going to draw a perpendicular line to the center front which is going to be our shoulder blade level line where we are going to take the wider measurements. The wider measurement is from the center back to the armhole ridge with one eighth of inch of an ease in that. Now we are going to take a backward measurement 1 1 by 4 inside to draw a princess parallel line for the back. Okay. Repeating these steps again. From the neck band to the center back point it's going to be 3 inches. From the center back point to the shoulder blade level however you measure it from the dress form. From there we take an armhole to, to the armhole ridge and take one eighth inch of an ease over there and they then take inward a measurement which is one 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 by fourth which is for the princess parallel line to draw the perpendicular line all right so that you are again aware of how we have completed the flat block measurement and then we end up doing our basic labeling instruction doing marking the grain line writing on fold and lengthwise grain so that we know which grain we are working and labeling is an important thing while doing the draping Now let's take it over the dress form. Now we take it over the dress form and we will first pin mark our essential points which is the center back neck point, the shoulder blade point and the waist wherever it's falling on the center grain. And of course the armhole ridge point. We are going to mark these four points points with the pin and uh, restrict our muslin over the form all right and now we're going to run away smooth hand on the princess parallel line without shifting purposefully here and there and wherever it's falling and pin mark it on the waist now you can see there is an excess fabric happening over there which we gonna convert it into dart later on but we are going to start with first with the neckline drape by slash and spread method which is again going to happen along the neck band along the neck band not on the neckline there is a difference so you need to do it on the neck band okay now we have to identify a princess back panel line where we are going to pin mark our back dart okay and we're gonna clip it by putting the pin over there like we did it in the front and we're gonna lift the armhole ridge point and going to put a small dart excess over the shoulder since a basic back bodice is always have a back dart a shoulder back dart and we are going to mark the vanishing points the way I am marking vanishing points are the points where the darts fade and uh, we generally mark it over the princess line wherever it comes okay now we start taking the cross marks the dotted lines for the waist we're gonna pin the side seam if your fabric is restricting you can also slash it but you should not slash it above the waistline you should make sure the slashing is little below the waist it helps you to drape the fabric in a better way 
also taken under arm hole pin point for our under arm point okay do all the cross markings essential markings the way we did it in the front the same way we will do it in the back and later on take it over the flat body to check how you have taken and to lift all those points by joining lines completely also mark the vanishing points and then start removing the pins from the essential points and take it over the flat Taking over the flat measurements, uh, we are going to first draw one of the sides of the dart to the point, uh, the vanishing points of each the dart together so that we know this is the princess path we need to follow. Okay, and then we are going to align one of the darts in an, one angle to get the symmetry of our princess line. From there we will also divide the dart into two parts by joining by making the center point and giving it like a midpoint to each and every dart and so that we can divide it equally and then we will join the dart legs to the vanishing point. Okay, you generally get to see that the drop in these darts in the back is generally uh, one inch to half inch on the either sides the way it's automatically happen if that is happening the gapping that means your back darts are correct but if the darts are in are elongating and intersecting the shoulder blade level then I think there is some mistake happening so make sure that doesn't happen you can clip your darts to join and get the shoulder point and get the right dart points as well the way we did it in the front the same way we do it for the shoulder over here in back and for the waist make sure your darts are folding towards the center front the intake is towards the center front and with the help of tracing wheel you will eventually get the dart uh, placements now do a dotted line for the side seam so that you can also do the similar thing which is one inch down and half inch out for the back as well so that it matches the front as well like how I'm doing in the video okay extend the uh, half inch out to get your true side seam line and also it helps you to get your true armhole point as well okay you can get your perfect armhole drop as well you need to identify the right curve through the French curve which you need to give don't give it too flat um, because that that doesn't really come around the arm really well okay now you can run the tracing wheel as I said in the in in the previous slide as well so that you get the impression of darts and you can get your dart intake points Now you start taking the seam allowances also don't forget to drape the neckline uh, the neckline will be same like in the front you will take a 1 4 inch drop from the center front and then you're gonna shape it with the French curve and then the similar way you will take your um, seam allowance markings which is half in half inch for the shoulder um, 1 4 inch for the neckline half an inch for the armhole, one inch for the side seam and half an inch for the waistline.
now we are going to chop off the seam allowances and um, the extra fabric around the seam allowance to take out the body completely uh, what we have marked and we are going to start pinning the darts and then pin this body with the front because we need to see it together that how when they both are attached how the fall and the fit and the hang of the piece is going to look like so we are going to start with pinning of the darts okay Now we are going to put our front and back panels together to see the alignment okay and just to tell you initially that uh, the back is always been draped over front so we are going to drape the back over front and pin it the way I am doing it in this video I am folding back over front alright uh, so the back and the front side seams are matching very well and for shoulder we are going to put match the pin the darts first because we have a shoulder dart in the front and we have a shoulder dart at the back again the same way back is going to pin over front so we are going to put pin on both the sides of the dart okay towards the neckline and towards the shoulder point but in some cases what happens that you will see that the back and the front are matching are not matching okay and there is an quarter inch or a one fourth inch more in the back or less in the front you know this you can always tweak in while doing it and which is why we we use red pencil and uh, colored pencils to do the rectification so now I don't have a red pencil right now so I'm going to do it with a green marker and since I had the leverage to balance it I have balanced it with the new marking for the back shoulder line so that it matches well and it goes very well and then take the seam allowance the same way of the same measurement and trim the excess as per the shoulder line so whenever your side seam is not matching with the front or uh, shoulder point is not matching with the front generally it should match but if they are not matching and if there is a scope for you to actually correct it then you should do that okay make sure these points which I'm pointing it out are matching when you are pinning it together now you take it over the dress form to see the fit and hang of the piece and we are done with our front and back bodice basic bodice together i hope you guys try this and let me know uh, what different things you have faced around this thank you